Hey there, it's Brian Goulet of the Goulet Pen Company and InkNouveau.com. I just got in some new Kaweco colors um, in both the Classic Sport and the Ice Sport. So I thought I'd go ahead and show them to you while I have them on hand. Let's check them out. Here we are looking at the entire line of Classic and Ice Kaweco Sports, at least as of the making of this video in November of 2011. Over here I have the Ices and over here I have the Classics. Essentially they're the same pen. The only difference is the coloring. Um, you have, aside from the clear, these are all trans or, um, completely opaque bodies, and the, the classics are. And the ices um, have translucent uh, colors in the cap and the grip section, and then the bodies are clear. Uh, the new pens that came in, <clears throat> there's five of them overall, two ices and three classics. Now, in, existing in the ice already was the red, blue, orange and green and added to that now we have pink which is quite a vibrant pink color it's um you know translucent just like the other ices but it's a nice bright pink color and then this is like a nice uh, neon yellow really vibrant like really really pops um, the other ones that we have here are the classics so ex already existing in the classics we had the blue black white and the clear. Now going to it, we have the guilloche, uh, also known as the 1930s guilloche or the guilloche 1930. Um, essentially, this is the exact same pen as the black, except that it has a little bit of fine detail here. I already covered this more in another video, but I'll zoom in a little bit and let you see the difference there. You can see it's got this um, sort of uh, diagonal kind of pattern to it. So it's the same pen otherwise, it's just got that little little bit of pattern there. Kind of neat, uh, but same pen, same price. Uh, so it's got the guilloche, this nice burgundy color, which is this really dark maroon wine color. And then this hunter green, which is uh, also pretty nice. Now, keeping in tradition with the ice and the classics, the new pens that came in, the ices have a... Um, silver colored nib with a silver colored uh, little finial or medallion whatever you want to call it that's in the top there and then the classics all have gold accents so it's all well it's also got it in the writing too so the writing is gold on these the medallion is gold and the nib is gold colored it's still a steel nib it's just gold colored um, same thing with the burgundy it's got the gold the guilloche has the gold as well and then uh, that's the only, I mean, it really doesn't matter too much in that respect. It's just that if you wanted to pick your clip colors to match, generally speaking, you want to match the um, silver clip to the ices and the gold clip to the classics. So anyway, now we have quite an extensive Kaweco Sport collection going on here. A lot of colors to choose from. Um, if you like to have a big ink capacity, these are good pens to consider if you want to convert them to an eyedropper. The pens do come with standard international cartridge. Um, they are unfortunately just a little too small to fit a standard international converter. So your only options for filling these is going to be either to refill the cartridges or convert them to an eyedropper, of which I have a video. A couple videos actually. So anyway, but uh, if you're interested in that, these are nice little pens for the money. They're right there in the $20 to $25 price range. So um, now you have more color options to choose from. I just got them in, so I thought it would be neat to show you uh, what they're all about while I have them all out. So I hope this was helpful to you. So there you go. If you have any questions, you can always email me at brian at Thanks for watching and right on.